What's up, guys? How are you? <laughs> I see what's going on with my computer stuff. I understand. Because, uh, guess what? Yesterday, I saw a UFO yesterday. And they didn't even know I was spying on them. I get paid by the government to do that sometimes, and, uh, well, the end result was inconclusive. I have no idea what they were doing here. What I do know about the tendency of the UFO, though, it just hovers around, so it likes doing that. <laughs> and the year is 1961. <laughs> and I'm just making a call to report the UFO that I saw, and, uh, they asked me, well, what's the UFO doing? And then I just went, it's just floating around. Because that's probably what you would do if you were a UFO. Just float around. <laughs> Which totally backs up all logic behind it. This is a UFO, though. I'm sick of fucking with aliens. I'm fucking sick of it. I'm sick to death of it. But I just wrote the prettiest song ever, and it's in a major scale, and I usually don't play in major scales, just because... Dude, dude, who am I? Am I just the happiest fucking guy in the world? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it's a piano! <laughs> no. I don't think it reflects... a lot of natural emotion unless you're trying to be complicated and play like jazz fusion or something where it goes you hear that do you hear what scale that's in and then the guy next to you goes yeah i do wow that's a that's a mixolydian scale which also happens to be the scale that i'm gonna play this in here we go as i'm using a broken ass fucking laptop right now so bear with the problems i don't give a shit I think it deserves a beat. I think this song has already earned a beat. I think it's earned this one. translate that chord. I, you can't see what I'm fucking doing, but here, this might help. Yeah. Like, it matters now. We already did it. <laughs> and you hear how it's kind of like a softer, like, more, uh... It almost sounds like it is a minor song. Um... But... It's in a major mode. It's a major song. And, uh... I mean, to put this together this way... Because I am going to just run a solo over this shit. But you're going to play... If you've listened to anything that I've done... You're going to definitely notice the difference. 
Um, <laughs> I'm just, I need to get the volumes right. I, I think it's an art to, uh, be able to turn the lead guitar down slightly underneath the rhythm. It's not easy to do, <laughs> and uh, I just usually think that the rhythm is what's making the lead possible in the first place, and I think the listeners are gonna hear the rhythm, and then they're gonna hear the lead kind of in the background of the rhythm. And, I mean, I honestly believe that shit, so let's go. Let's try this. Let's try this right now.
that's my favorite thing that I have written thus far. I just like it because of how far out of my element that I went. Like, that's not normal for me to dance around in those particular notes. I don't usually do that. So, hence, taking a little break, you sound different afterwards. <laughs> Fuck, this is like diet beer. I'm drinking fucking diet beer. <laughs> It's like a punk rock song. Damn it! Ugh. My half hour for my demo is up. We're turning it back on. I don't give a fucking shit. Yeah, you're gonna experience errors with me today. <laughs> Every 30 minutes, my demo turns off and I gotta turn it back on, because I only have the demo, because I don't got 200 bucks and I don't want to buy the fucking software, especially if I can just, like, every once in a while I gotta fucking turn it back on. Okay. <laughs> It's like one of those high school, like, rock songs. single person that played that way ended up later playing death metal. Which, to be honest, is not an easy transition for one. For two, I don't know if I even like death metal really, except for a few select bands. And three, what a transition. But, whatever. I don't think... I don't think punk and death metal really have a hell of a lot to do with each other, to be honest. Like, when you want to look at the relationship about the mending of... How you would... Say you're changing your style into something heavier. But... You're not changing it into something heavier, you're just picking up something heavier, because they don't have anything to do with each other. Oh, that's my opinion. And when I just jam by myself, I usually just sit there and go like... But I usually want a beat in the background. Um, what kind of beat do we want? Let's find out. Fuck. Here, where? Oh. Here, let's just go. No, not that. See, I'm just clicking on shit that, like... 
here. What did I just do? Um. Here. It's, it's in here somewhere. I just don't quite know where it is. Uh. Yeah, well, I'm rusty as shit. I'm a little drunk. <laughs> like, I, I kind of like lost track of software. This is really easy to pick back up, but... But I used to always play like, I used to always play like... I can't even play the song anymore. I used to play really heavy like that, and gradually over time, I kind of stopped. shake off the rust with me. <laughs> I got a lot of rust. I actually don't really play those songs. I don't I don't play I don't really play power chords anymore. If I do play power chords you're gonna find me playing like <laughs> We're gonna play that song real quick. I feel like I really was limiting myself a long time ago when I was playing like a lot of real heavy shit. I just really was kind of like, man, I'm really just kind of putting myself out there in a category of kind of, uh, I don't think I was playing as hard as I could have been playing. Not as, he not that I'm saying as heavy, but as like, Good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was playing back in the Dizzy and I was drunk as hell all the time, dude. Like, uh, pretty damn drunk for someone who, like, didn't know how to play the guitar. I didn't have any idea what I was doing. I just acted, I acted like I did and really walked around acting like I really knew what I was doing and what I was talking about, and I really didn't. I just wanted to rock and roll, brother. And that's what happened. But, yeah, I'm going to end up trailing off, so I'm going to just stop right now. Just knocking off Rustin, that was the song I invented. <laughs> 